What's going on everyone? Hugh Finn News coming at you with another daily cryptocurrency market analysis. Today is August 15, 2015 and today was a huge day for the cryptocurrency market. It has shown us a change of character for a lot of the cryptocurrency that we have been analyzing the last couple of days. So we're going to go through that and I want to show you guys if you guys are in the market currently with some of these cryptocurrency that we're about to review that you guys need to possibly need to try to really seriously think about an exit strategy because the market has seen its last updates for the next couple of trading days it seems like and I'm gonna talk about that more in line with some of these cryptocurrencies that I'm about to go through but before we get started I want to tell you guys that here at Hufin News we give you guys news according to the charts we are not investment advisors, nor are we trying to give you guys investment advice. We are simply giving you guys news according to the charts based off of the bars and the volume. Okay. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and look at the first cryptocurrency, which is NEO against Bitcoin. So like we said, our analysis yesterday, NEO should continue to trade sideways to eventually lower now today was the market went down today for neo but the market had a lot more consumption today there was more buyers than sellers today in the market for neo so the bar was able to close above the close of yesterday's bar if you guys pay attention to that you can see that the consumption and the buyers within the market came in and absorbed all of that selling that came in which is a precursor of strength but the spread of the bar is extremely wide so that lets us know that the market tried real hard to push the price lower but it just wasn't successful today so we're going to continue with our analysis for neo and say that it will continue to trade sideways to eventually lower but if tomorrow's bar is extremely wide and higher as like a push to go up bar then we'll change our analysis from trading sideways to moving higher but until then, our analysis is to trade sideways and move lower. So next, we're going to go ahead and look at this Bitfinex website, starting with Bitcoin. On the daily chart, Bitcoin was down 3.34%. Last trade was at $4,187. Pay attention to today's bar. I told you guys yesterday by seeing how fast bitcoin shot up in the last four trading days is unusual in any market and to be ready to see a massive down move and that is exactly what occurred today a massive down move occurred today in bitcoin this is truly a change of character that has occurred in this crypto the volume is extremely high, is massive, even climactic. So we could possibly say that Bitcoin has finished seeing higher highs for the time being. The market is showing us, depending on what the market does tomorrow, will definitely give us confirmation on whether Bitcoin will see higher highs or it will not. But just by this bar being so wide, lets us know that the market is changing its sentiment on the direction of where it wants to go so if any of you guys are in the market with bitcoin then you might want to think about your exit strategy and take your profit as we have been doing here at hufin news because this is a a red herring this is a glaring signal a glaring sign to anyone who's in the market that something is changing so i want you guys to pay attention to today's bar so with that being said, our analysis for Bitcoin is for it to trade sideways. And if tomorrow's bar is lower than what it was today, then we're going to change it to Bitcoin to move lower. So we're going to wait until tomorrow for our confirmation on whether or not Bitcoin is going to move higher or lower. So today we're just going to say that Bitcoin is going to trade sideways. But it seems as if the market is going to move lower. Okay. So next we're going to go ahead and look at Ethereum. It's also on the daily chart. They're down 3.51%. 
last trade was at $288.03. So we said previously on our last videos that once you have so much stockpile coming in on these particular trading days that eventually the market will move down. And today that occurred. The market shot down even though there were some buyers in this particular bar. But we have, we have already known that there was stockpile entering the market trying to push this price lower and it was successful today. And we will conclude with our analysis for Ethereum that it will trade sideways to moving lower in the next couple of trading days. Possibly coming down and testing $259, that's the first area of support for Ethereum to come out down and test is like $259, $260. And if it breaks that, then we're going to move it all the way down to $240. So that's our analysis for Ethereum for it to move down towards $260. And if it breaks that area of support, then we're going to move it down to $240 just to give you guys a heads up. So that's pretty much a ways down from where it is currently trading at $288. So if you guys are also in the market with Ethereum, you might want to think about an exit strategy on when would be a good time to get out. So next we're going to go ahead and look at Litecoin. So even with Litecoin, Litecoin was down 5.32%. Last trade was at $43.14. And we said on our video yesterday, so you guys need to go back and check our video and see how accurate we are in our prediction. We said that today, if Litecoin breaks through this area of support, then we will change our analysis. And we changed it from trading to lower, especially on today's bar. It is a widespread bar on high volume. And, it's, and the sellers in this particular market were successful in keeping the price lower and under the area of support that it was was trading at yesterday so litecoin is going to be moving lower possibly coming back down and testing forty dollars and if it breaks that area of support then we're going to look towards 38 dollars as the next area of support for litecoin but the market for litecoin is weak we have already acknowledged that in the last in our previous videos because we've seen precursors of weakness in Litecoins in the last couple of trading days. So that is our analysis for Litecoins for it to move lower. So next we're going to look at Bitcoin Cash. So looking at Bitcoin Cash, it looked like they were up 1.11%. Last trade was at $298.50. I'm going to show you guys the three hour chart. So in our video yesterday, we mentioned to you guys that Bitcoin Cash was trading sideways. And it's been doing that for the last couple of three hour bars. The market has not moved in Bitcoin. The volume of comparative to the last couple of trading days around the beginning of August has completely subsided. So that lets us know that Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash will either make a move to the high upside or move lower to continue its trading. The last time that the market dried up, Bitcoin Cash shot up. So that could be another indication to us that the market participants within Bitcoin Cash will make a move higher once they are completed with their sideways trading action. So with Bitcoin, we will continue with our analysis to say that they will trade sideways to eventually move a higher. So the next one we're going to look at is Ethereum Classic. They're down 3.48%. The last trade was at $13.47. We'll go ahead and look at the daily chart. So we have already told you guys that Classic was going to come and touch this area of support. And what did it do today? 
man when you guys understand the language of the market you guys will be more confident and you will be making more money in the market once you understand what's going on with these bars and the volume we call this the last couple of trading days the market has been trending lower and we have told you guys that it will come and test this area support and it did that and the market came back into the area support so what we're expecting to see for classic is for it to continue to trade sideways or to eventually come and back up here to this area of resistance but definitely classic is the weakest cryptocurrency in the market right now and you guys can definitely see that over the last couple of trading days that it has not had not one update this is the seventh day of ethereum classic moving lower but i want you guys to be prepared because once you have so many days of the market moving lower then that's going to be the opportunity for those who see this as an opportunity to come in and start buying so those who are those of you guys who are interested in classic hold on a couple more days then the market should come and move back higher from this area of support but we we'll, we still think tomorrow should be a trading sideways action day for like i mean i'm sorry for classic and then the market might move higher from where it is currently so our analysis for like i mean i'm sorry for ethereum classic is for it to trade sideways to eventually move it higher to touch this area of resistance and if it breaks this area of support by a push to go down then the market is is a free fall for classic so that's one of the things if you guys are in the market for classic is that if it breaks this area of support then you definitely want to possibly take your exit strategy out of classic because there is no area of support that we can see unless it's down here at seven dollars for classic to stop so classic would definitely be in free fall if it breaks this area of support and it's right there right now so Keep your guard up for Ethereum Classic. So next we're going to look at Dash. So pay attention to Dash because one of the things that I noticed with Dash compared to all the other cryptocurrency is that it closed higher than the majority of the other cryptocurrencies which is an indication of precursor strength. So Dash is not finished with its higher prices currently. A lot of the other cryptocurrency moved lower, but Dash showed us that the buyers overwhelmed the sellers today. They're up 2.60%. The last trade was at $204.24. So Dash might try its way back up here to this area of resistance, but it'll have to take a lot more buyers in order to push it higher. So the market still may close lower tomorrow. So for Dash, we'll just say that they should move, continue to trade sideways. But the overall feel for Dash is that it should move eventually lower because we're not seeing a lot of precursors of strength in the background to say that it's going to break and at least move up there to the area of resistance. So next we're going to look at is Ripple. So Ripple is down 5.85 percent last trade was around 15 percent but i want you guys to pay attention to today's bar see how excessive that volume is about 11 million cryptocurrencies was traded on today and the market tried to push the close towards the middle of this particular bar which could be an indication of consumption coming to the market because the area is trading right here around the area support in the last couple of days or whenever the market came and tested around this area of support the next day it shot up so it might not be that same case for ripple on tomorrow but i just want you guys to be aware that ripple might come back up higher from where it currently is trading because obviously the market participants wanted to keep the prices from moving lower so they came in and tried to consume as many of these cryptocurrencies trade at this price as possible 
So the next couple of trading days, Ripple should be moving sideways to eventually higher to get away from this area of support. Okay, but like like I said with the other cryptocurrency, uh, Classic, if it breaks this area of support, I have no other way on this particular chart to show you or tell you guys where will it stop. So if it breaks this area of support, then you will definitely want to go ahead and get out the market as soon as possible because we have no other indications as to where it will stop. Okay. So the last one we're going to look at is Monero. So Monero also tried to show us the effort and the push to move the locker, I mean, to move the cryptocurrency lower. It was successful because yesterday was a definite precursor of strength. But given what happened today in the market, Monero is definitely giving us more precursors of weakness than it is precursors of strength. So we will continue to say that Monero will trade sideways to eventually move lower, especially if tomorrow's bar is lower than what it was today. Because today's bar could also be buyers stepping in into the market and trying to buy up as much of this cryptocurrency as possible. But if that's not the case, then definitely XMR slash Monero would be moving lower. They are down 1.60%. Last trade was at $48.93. It definitely looks as if on the last couple of trading days that a lot of sellers have came into the market to try to suppress the market but obviously market participants are interested in trying to bring this price higher but overall you can see the lower trend that the highs have been making on this particular currency and we still expect it to come and test this area of support and once it do that then hopefully depending on whether or not we see precursors of strength or precursor of weakness, we will be able to tell whether or not it'll be going lower from there or will it break and go higher. So that's our daily cryptocurrency analysis. Hey guys, I appreciate the new subscribers that continue to come on to this channel. We make it real simple, it's easy. We want you guys to get the confidence back whenever you go in and trade the market. So make sure you guys continually watch our daily cryptocurrency market analysis. Because with this understanding of the language of this particular market, you will also be able to make more profit and be able to get out before it's too late and you will end up losing all of your money. So make sure you guys continue to like this channel, share these videos, make sure you guys got any questions, place them in the comment section of this video because that's what we're here. We're here to give you guys news according to the charts and also to give you guys confidence into understanding and predicting where the market is going to go. Our previous videos is the proof that we at Hufin News know exactly what we're talking about. So go ahead, check those other videos that we got posted on YouTube and you'll see for a fact that we know exactly what's going to happen in the, in, in the predictive future of these cryptocurrency markets. So that's all I got for today. You guys have a wonderful day. Again, subscribe, make sure you like, share. If you guys got any questions, go ahead and put it in the comment section of this video. And I'll talk to you guys later.